Google is at it again. If you've been spending any time in the tech district of the internet lately, you might have heard about something called web environment integrity and how it may lead to the eventual ruining of the internet. Now at first, I didn't really make too much of it. I've been on the internet for a long time and for me, these sorts of doomy stories are pretty much business as usual. But after looking into the topic a bit more thoroughly, it became very obvious why so many people are expressing serious concerns. In case you haven't heard about what's going on, or you haven't quite grasped it yet, here's what you need to know. But first, I post videos like these about twice a month and I'm constantly striving to improve and deliver more quality content. So if you like what you see, please consider supporting the channel by subscribing and becoming a member. Your support would mean a lot. WEI, short for Web Environment Integrity, is an API developed by Google that proposes a system in which websites obtain digitally signed tokens for the purpose of client authentication. Now we'll get to how this is supposed to work a bit later, but for now, what you need to know is that the system in question is specifically designed to determine whether a particular client or website visitor will be granted access to the content they're requesting or if they'll be denied. As stated by Google, the goal of the proposed system is to give website servers the ability to evaluate the authenticity and honest representation of site visitors in order to better combat things like social media manipulation through fake engagement, non-human activity in advertising, phishing campaigns, as well as large-scale cheating in web-based games, among other things. So, pretty useful stuff, you gotta admit. The aforementioned practices are definitely a huge issue on the modern day internet, and a non-invasive system that would successfully prevent them from happening would certainly be more than welcome. The only problem is, what Google seems to be proposing smells an awful lot like something known as digital rights management. The definition of DRM on Wikipedia reads as follows. DRM is the management of legal access to digital content. Admittedly, that may not tell you all that much about the subject at hand, but here's a practical example that will make it perfectly clear what we're talking about. I'm sure many of you have experience using premium content services like Netflix, HBO, Disney, or Hulu. Now at some point, you may have tried to screen record some of the content you were streaming, only to quickly learn that things weren't really going to go as expected. If this has happened to you, then you have first-hand experience with a DRM solution doing exactly what it is designed to do. While some argue that this technology is necessary for the protection of intellectual property, others have criticized it for restricting individuals from legally using content in accordance with fair use, as well as stifling innovation and competition. Things get even more controversial when similar technology is employed to hinder hardware product owners from making repairs on their devices and machines. For reasons such as these, Richard Stallman, a prominent activist in the free software movement, suggested the word rights be replaced with restrictions in order to form a more accurate description of the practice. But back to Google's web environment integrity. Given the fact that restricting website access for clients deemed as unfit is a significant part of what the proposed API aims to do, it's easy to see where the parallel with DRM stems from. The explainer document on GitHub underscores the importance of trust in a client-server relationship as the backbone of the open web, critical for the safety of user data and for the sustainability of website businesses. But what we really want to know is how WEI intends to establish that trust. Well, let's take a look. Now the document explains the process using language for people who read a lot of books and probably even studied in the field of internet technology, so I'll attempt to rephrase it in a way that even a child would understand. To any of the more technical people watching this, forgive me in advance for any possible oversimplifications. The full detailed explanation will be linked in the description below. Okay, so when you click on a link or type in a URL in the browser's address bar, your browser sends a request to the website server along with some of your information. Assuming everything is fine and dandy, this would typically be the part where you get served with a requested content, but web environment integrity implies at least a few additional steps in between. Instead of sending you the requested content as one of the first orders of business, the server will require you to undergo a so-called environmental attestation process. At this point, your browser will be directed to presumably a third-party attestation server where you'll be put through some sort of test. The attester will then sign a token containing a verdict saying whether it considers your device trustworthy or not and send it back to the server of the website you're trying to visit. Finally, the website server will inspect the token and depending on the attester's verdict, either grant you access to the content you requested or basically tell you to get lost. 
The explainer notes that it takes inspiration from a couple of existing native attestation signals. One of those is Apple's App Attest, which is an API that developers use to check if clients connecting to their servers are doing so using a valid instance of their app. The other is Google's very own Play Integrity API, which is the reason why major banking and pay apps don't work on rooted Android devices. While root access can be used for malicious purposes, it can also be used for a number of benevolent things like advanced customization and bloatware removal. Now, with all the resources and talent at their disposal, you'd think that Google would separate users with good intentions from the bad actors, but they don't. Play Integrity, quite frankly, doesn't care. As far as it's concerned, all rooted devices are just bad. But with all that said, the logical question that arises is, if this stuff already exists, what is all the fuss about web environment integrity? Well, to put things into context, APIs like AppAttest and Play Integrity could be described as gatekeepers for apps on privately owned operating systems. WEI, on the other hand, could theoretically assume the role of a gatekeeper for the entire World Wide Web. Truth be told, it would be rather hyperbolic to claim that the entirety of the web would blatantly abuse the system, but it's practically certain that many websites indeed would use it to the user's detriment by granting access only in cases where their code is running in an environment that is favorable for their agenda. And the WEI Explainer document even recognizes this issue by acknowledging that some websites might exclude certain web browsers and even full operating systems. In the non-goals section, the authors note that enforcement of or interference with browser functionality, including plugins and extensions, is not something the API would aim to do. And while such a statement may sound reassuring at face value, the particular wording of the subsequent elaboration definitely leaves much room for skepticism. Quote, Web environment integrity attests the legitimacy of the underlying hardware and software stack. It does not restrict the intended application's functionality. For example, if the browser allows extensions, the user may use extensions. End quote. So with those specific words in mind, one could ask, what exactly is a user who is running an ad blocking extension in a browser to expect? Would they be able to run the extension? Sure, presumably. But would they be able to access a website that hates the fact that they're blocking ads? Well, according to this, there really are no guarantees. On top of everything mentioned, significant concerns also revolve around Google's potential influence on web environment integrity. Consider this. Google already owns the world's most popular web browser, search engine, operating system, and ad network. And now they want this? I mean. I understand that expecting them to halt progress isn't realistic or fair, but trusting a tech behemoth to uphold a do-no-evil philosophy becomes quite a challenge when they essentially possess the power to do whatever they want. And look, all of this is not to say that Google is going into this with the intention to cause harm. These are all noble goals, but the road to hell is paved with good intentions. To quote the Electronic Frontier Foundation, we sympathize with businesses whose revenues might be impacted by ad fraud, game companies that struggle with cheaters, and services that struggle with bots. But addressing these problems can't come before the right of technology users to choose how their computers work or what those computers tell others about them because the right to control one's own devices is a building block of all civil rights in the digital world. WEI should not be made. And if it is made, it should not be used. If you like these kinds of videos, please consider supporting the channel by becoming a member. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay strong.